that have seen the light. That are embracing the change for a better day. Have invited the season of receiving justice for us all. We are rejecting. The corrupted patterns of yesterday with the illusion that only those that partake in perversion should be merited justice. Whether or not you find yourself in a circle of corruption Or you find yourself in your truth, in solitude. We are being reminded there are endings. There are endings to be made. Welcomed or forced. But there are endings to be made in preparation for this new day. This new day and this new light. requires a new way. In action. In the choices we make. And in the reactions that we will be led to partake in. Our last card for today is very encouraging. It's one that brings peace 
love, and assurance. But before I read its message, I want to locate the number, the angel number that's imprinted. On the card. It says. Your relationships. With yourself. And others. Are being supported by. Your angels and guides. Call on them. For as much help as you need. And know it's never too much. There was someone that was asking for guidance. And I think that message. Is in response. To that prayer request. And we give thanks. Now the card. Itself. Says. We will light the path. To new possibilities. For your future. Stay aware. Okay. Now, the message we just read just now stated that this was in relation to our angels and our guides. So we are receiving further message from them that They will be lighting the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. How do we stay aware? We make room for awareness. We discard yesterday's old programming. That is no longer in alignment with our highest good. We practice self-care. Mind, body, and soul. We set boundaries. That enable us to practice Self-respect, self-love, self-awareness, and one of my favorite words in my vocabulary. Freedom. I believe in freedom and I live in freedom. And I have the freedom to do the next right thing. What is the next right thing for you? The next right thing for me would be to remain in my truth. The next right thing for me
would be to stand up to oppression. The next right thing for me would be to trust God. Trust and live in assurance that he is in control. Trust and live in assurance That all debtors will pay their debts. Trust and live in the assurance. That in this day. Today, our brand new way is justice for us all. It is time. To get ready. Whether you are. The one that is. In line to receive. Justice. For what that you experienced. What you were exposed to. What was stolen from you. Your peace. Joy. Serenity. Stability. It will be returned to you. Open your eyes and see. It's already begun. And those of you Who are agents, agents of chaos, agents of destruction.